Hey guys, Ryan here. I'm here with my April 18th DVD and Blu-ray update. Mostly Blu-ray this time. Um, it's been a little while. It's been about a week and a half since the last video that I did that was like this with me, you know, facing the camera. And um, just had some personal stuff I was dealing with the past couple weeks, and so I was trying to lay low a little bit. But I'm glad to be back full force this week. I guess let's go ahead and get started. Um, you might already know this, but um, I received a package from Robbie Webster, and he sent me a gift, and that gift was Taxi Driver. And so this was one of the newest Blu-rays I got. Um, this is a brilliant, brilliant, uh, brilliant Blu-ray set, and comes with like little posters and stuff. And one thing that I really like about this the most is that it comes with this. The, it carries over, but it re remasters the documentary, the making of documentary, and the Criterion commentary that was recorded in the late 80s. And the picture of this film is amazing. It is, it is so high def. But the thing I love about it the most is that it kept it grainy, and it still looks like film instead of just completely digital. So again, thanks, Robbie. Guys, you guys get this on Amazon right now for $12.99, and so you got to get it. The next film I got is, it was kind of a blind buy, because I'm a big, huge fan of this filmmaker. Um, it's a Criterion Blu-ray, and it's Terrence Malick's Days of Heaven, starring Richard Gere and Sam Shepard. But this movie is so amazing. And this was the last movie that Terrence Malick did before he took a 20-year hiatus, and then he came back with a thin red line. And this movie's kind of like a love triangle, but it's not really romance at all. Um, it doesn't have any of that corny, you know, butterflies in your stomach kind of feel. It is very, very good. The music in it is great. Um, the cinematography in it is brilliant. And it's just the same kind of dreamlike, you know, nature, feel, poetic type of film that, you know, Terrence Malick makes. And this is, um, I think, of right now, considered his best movie he's ever done. And I enjoy it. It's great. Um, everything Terrence Malick's done, I love. From A Thin Red Line to Badlands to New World. And he's getting ready to come out with a new film. Uh, called Tree of Life, which looks amazing. So, this comes with, of course, I mean, look how awesome that, I mean, that's like what the picture looks like, you know, essay book and everything right here. Oh my gosh, this movie was amazing. And, oof, it's just a great movie. The next one I got was um, a movie I already had on DVD, and I went ahead and traded it in at the local um, DVD shop here, and that is Stanley Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket. I went ahead and got the Blu-ray for it, and it's an it's amazing transfer. You know, it's now remastered in 1080p high definition, and it's a great film, and it's a great transfer. It comes with all the great documentaries and stuff that comes with it commentary. I love the front cover. It's kind of like of a it's the same kind of you know message that his original poster had, but you know, kind of updated it a little bit. Still has the Born to Kill written on the helmet. And this is definitely one of the best war movies ever made and it's definitely one of Stanley Kubrick's best. I know I say that about every one of his movies, but every movie how can you say that every that any of his movies are better than the other. I mean, every movie he does is amazing. So, um, in fact, I got this used, and it's in perfect condition. I think I got it for like $9 used, which is um, good considering that the original price was $19. The next film I got on Blu-ray is Fight Club. And this is, in my opinion, other than seven, David Fincher's like best film. And the acting in it is amazing. It has Brad Pitt, Edward Norton, Helena Bottom Carter, Meat Loaf, Jared Leto. Um, it's a great film. It's very insane. And it's a wonderful, wonderful 
feel good movie. I'm just joking. It's a it's a great movie though. Um, this Blu-ray edition has a really funny intro. When it goes to the DVD menu, it doesn't go to Fight Club. It goes to has like a fake Never Been Kissed with Drew Barrymore on the front. And at first you're like, what is this? And all of a sudden it like um, jerks and like the like computer screen goes off and it comes back on and it's Fight Club. And so I think at, when this first came out, people were actually like surprised. They were like, oh man, did I buy the wrong movie? And all of a sudden they were like, oh, okay. So it's a great film. The next film I got... Um, I ran out and got this as soon as pos as I found out that it was five bucks at Walmart in the five dollar bin, and I was watching um, Big Toe Five Twelves videos, and he had mentioned that he picked this up in the five dollar bin at Walmart, and so I was like, dude, that is an awesome film, especially this version of it. I gotta pick it up, and that's the DVD. I don't think it's out on Blu-ray yet. The reconstruction version of the Big Red One. Samuel Fuller's, in my opinion, masterpiece. He, he did a lot of great movies. You know, some people, there's some critics out there that are like, oh, Samuel Fuller, he gets a lot of credit for making crappy movies. Well, he made great movies, I think. I mean, B, I mean, he st made a lot of B movies. And, you know, and this is, I think, um, Roger Ebert said, this is the best B movie ever made, but yes, there, there's parts of it that are like, you know, it's definitely not the same scope and high budget of Saving Private Ryan, but I think it hits more of, on a human level, and it deals with issues of, you know, killing and stuff. I just think it has a powerful message. It's a great film. I highly recommend this. Um, the original version was rated PG, and I think it was like an, an hour and 45 minutes or something like that. This is the Samuel Fuller cut, well, the, what they think that his... Um, original cut when it was going to be, which I think was going to be like three and a half hours, but they pieced it together and they are able to come up with this um, basically almost three hour cut of the movie and it's rated R and it's just uh, such a good movie. It has Mark Hamill in it, um, Lee Marvin. It's a great film. And before it's been like 22 bucks, but they took away the special features disc, which I don't really care as long as it kept the commentary, which it did, and it's a great film. I mean, I watched it. I got home from Walmart the other day, and I popped it in the DVD player, or the Blu-ray player, right away, and I watched it, and it's such a great film. So, well, that's all the pickups that I got. Um, tomorrow, I plan on doing the Q&A video that you guys asked me questions for earlier. The next day, I plan on doing my film analysis on The Godfather, and it's going to kind of I'm going to kind of touch on The Godfather Part Two also. Um, once again, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. I'm going to leave you with this quote: "There's three ways of doing things: the right way, the wrong way, and the chat way." Take it easy, guys.